I'm angry as hell. I'm even more angry because I'm here and people are gonna know my business. My husband called the show to prove that he was not trying to have sexual relations with a minor. One day I saw text messages in his phone and I read them and he was basically telling a child that he was trying to give his love away. He was trying to have sex with a minor. That's what I found. And then she wrote my daughter, she asked my daughter if she could come get her And my daughter said, come bitch. And she wrote back, oh, I'm a bitch because your daddy wants me. So when I confronted him about the messages, <laughs> he did, well, I punched him in his face and he deleted the messages according to him. At this point, I just wanted the truth because I need him out of my house if that's the case. I need him going. I've been with Devante for nine years and nine months. We've always had ups and downs. I'm just finding out today that he's cheated. I'm mad. I'm not, I'm not hurt. I'm mad. Because on top of everything else, he's just a liar. Like, it continues to keep doing the same thing. Like I said, today, he tell me something about that happened five years ago. All right, because we're going on a Steve Wilco show, when you could have just told me five years ago instead of telling me today. I am having an affair with someone else, so I feel like it's payback. What really hurts the most is that we have, I have other children. He raised my kids. The lie detectors come back anything other than he's telling the truth. I need him gone. I need him out my house. I have, I have other kids that I have to worry about. Hey, if you want to be a pedophile, you could be a pedophile in your time. Just get my life simple. Uh, Dante, your wife believes that you're having an uh, inappropriate relationship with a teenager. Are you? No, Steve. No. I would never. I would never stoop that low. Well, what happened that she thinks that? OK, so basically, uh, her daughter had a friend that was going through a couple of rough times, you know, and the friend was spending a lot of time at our house, Steve, you know, because she really didn't have anything or anyone to count on. So within me figuring out that my wife was having an affair, you know, the kids found out too at the same time. You figured out she was having an affair. Well, basically, me keep asking the question, I can tell, like, you know, it went from we do everything and go everywhere together, she was all about me, to, oh, no, you stay home, I want to go out, I want to go do this, or I need girl time alone. And it just wasn't adding up to me, Steve. Like, you understand, like, too much girl time alone, or you always want to be around your cousins, that's not good for you, like, you understand me? So. I started putting two and two together and I asked her, like, you know, I can feel it, but I'd rather you just tell me the truth instead of me sitting here, keep assuming and keep looking stupid. Just tell me. And she told me. And after the first time, I told her, like, you know, I forgive you regardless, because at the end of the day, I took an oath for better or for worse, through sickness, through health, till death do us part. I'm not going to divorce you. I forgive you. Second time, same line. Third time, same line. Fourth. It was the same time. Fifth time, it was, I was fed up. I was hurt. I was 19 years old when I met this woman. I'm 27 today. We've been together nine years and nine months. Um, and my previous parts of before we married each other, no, I wasn't a perfect man. I'm not going to sit there and lie and go, yeah, I was the perfect man, or I didn't cheat. No, I did. I did. I wasn't man enough at that time to face the music and consequences and go to her and say, I had sexual intercourse with another female, but this was five years ago. You understand me? It wasn't built in me. When you hear your wife saying, yeah, I'm having an affair now. It hurts. Like, you know, what, what am I going to do about it? It hurts. And I can't sit there and change her actions. I can't change her emotions or what she's doing. What if she says, I'm not going to stop? It is what it is from there. You understand? You can... would stay in the marriage? I'm not going to divorce her. That's, that's, that's just something that... I didn't agree upon. You understand me? Even though I Well, when understand. you get married, you don't agree to have other sexual partners either. No, no, you don't. But when I married her, it was for better or for worse, through sickness or through health. And right... forsake all others. You, I understand what, I understand what the oath right. was. So, Steve. I mean, you can't pick and choose which ones you're going to... 
I bye under, bye. No, I understand, but it's just not in me. I got a family that I built between. So you let legacy. her keep cheating and stay with her. I'm not gonna say I'm gonna let her keep cheating and staying with her, but I'm not gonna sit there and engage into the. That's the, if that's the type of relationship she wants, then that's cool. You, you know, I let her go be with him. That's what you want. Go ahead. I'll stay home and be a dad to my kids. Tell me what happened last week. Janice's daughter bought the friend or whatever that was spending more time at our house and stuff like that. Everybody figured out about the affair. You know what I'm saying? Everybody figured it out. It was no secret because the, the actions, the words that were said in front of, it was all out in the open. You understand me? So they all knew. And it wasn't like I was sitting here confiding in this kid. You understand what I'm saying? I, I, didn't I didn't understand why she felt like it was all me, because I didn't open the door to confiding into this kid. You understand me? She did, but did you confide at all? No, uh, not confiding, Steve, but when all of my kids, when all of the kids are asking questions like, are you okay, and stuff like that, she asks the same questions. You understand what I'm saying? So I would answer feeling like, okay, the kid's here. You understand? She sees what's going on. Did you send text messages to this teenager? The, te the teenager texted my phone from, uh, from an iCloud that's familiar to me, and I text back. She asked questions, I answered. Like, there was no me sitting there hiding or beating around the bush from it. If you ask a question, I'm gonna answer you. Simple so as you that. don't believe you were inappropriate with this teenager? The only thing that I believe where I messed up, Steve, was just sitting there and even talking back to her, you understand, about my, my marriage problems and stuff like that. What do you believe happened with this teenager and your husband? Oh, nothing happened because I caught it. No. But clearly... You caught the text messages? Yes. And what, what exactly did the text messages See, say? See, earlier that morning, I came home from having an affair. So you and went and had sex with another man? I wasn't having sex. Yes, I was just you, out with no, him. See, I, she's been having sex, sex with this Actually, man I, since I, before I, I got married really to her. It does anyway. matter. You've been seeing another guy for how long? For It's been on and off for four years. OK. Why stay married? Why even sit there and come and commit a, a commitment that you can't hold up? Why get married Why? in the first place when you just cheated Why? before and Jan never even said Listen, it? Janice, like, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not accusing you or saying you did anything wrong. I'm just saying, why stay married if you're not getting... I, I asked for a divorce. No, you asked for, she asked for a divorce recently. Now, now that all of this is I've happening, asked she asked for a divorce. For a so like I said, that's I, why I'm here to And you want to stay married? At the end of the day, if she wants a divorce, it is what it is, Steve. I can't sit there and do nothing, but one thing you're not going to do is try to take everything that I built for us and our family from me and kick me out on the streets like I was never nothing. Because I built oh everything God, that we got right now. Dante, you took a lie detector test. So it did, Steve. You refused to do the fidelity test. So. No, I didn't refuse. I already told the producers. <laughs> I already told Janice the truth. Everything went left once I started telling her the truth. I done got abused, punched on, slapped on. I'm not doing nothing. Steve, you like it to be alive, Steve. Okay, so we didn't ask him anything about cheating because I already answered it. Uh, he answered one thing and he feels like that's something. Okay. It doesn't matter at okay. the end of the day. All right. Uh, but we go on to ask you, did you ever have sexual conversations with this teenage girl? He answered, no. Did you have any sexual contact with that girl? He answered, no. The results came back the same to those two questions, and it came back that Dante did not tell the truth. I knew what? that. What? Thank you, Steve. I already uh, knew that. <laughs> Hallelujah, Janice, look at that. No, 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 pick impossible. your face up. Pick no. your face up, stupid. Impossible. Pick not your no face stupid. up, stupid. No, no, stupid. No, no, no. Not no. Hit him. Let her, I'm not let her, let him. her go, because one thing, one thing I that I'm going to say here and tell you, no. You're going to get the out of my house, you dirty That's what you are, you dirty ass. Did I, Steve, what did I fail? Steve, Steve, can you tell him how, Steve? What did I fail? Tell him drop and for both of us. Both of How? Both of us. I never had sexual contact. Kid, I've That's never why. seen this kid. Okay. That's Steve, why. So hook you're, me up you're again, please. No matter what. I'm going. Let her leave. Oh, he going. What you, let what her you leave. Oh, I don't going. care about her Steve. leaving, Steve. Listen to me. Hook me up again. <laughs> because the <laughs> lady did my again. test three How times. How many times they did it? Three. How she, many times they did it, Steve? She did that test one time. How many times, Steve? She did the actual test How one times? time. How one time she did the actual test. She took... It was done one time. We ask you a million questions, not just these two. But when it comes down to it, when we ask you these two questions, whether you had sexual conversations with this girl, I'm mad at the only you had sexual contact with this girl. And I told, I told the but tester, saying, listen to me, Steve. No, I told the listen tester. Listen to me. I understand. You failed. Steve, let's, let's go Steve, do this all if he over tells again. You, this guy is blue, you can go do it somewhere it else, but you came here and you failed. I came here to clear my name. But you, Steve. Did. you didn't clear it. And you Obviously, failed. I failed because you got me. I 
have well, confirmation today. Good yeah. luck. Good luck to both of you. Thank you, Steve. Take care.